Hello and welcome to the City of Burlington website. My name is Leslie and I'm a fitness instructor for the city. Today I'm going to be taking you through a five minute demonstration on four lower body exercises that you can do in the comfort of your own home. Hey everybody. Hi everyone. Hello everyone. Hello, it's great to see you. Before we get going, you might want to have a chair close by if you need it for support and make sure that you have an area that you can work in that's free of obstacles, there's no, um, you've got lots of space to work in and make sure that you have a pair of running shoes on, do not do this with sock feet as you do not want to slip. So we're going to get started. We're going to start with your basic squat. Now I'm going to show you the option using the chair and freestyle. So feet are about hip width. You might want to point the toes slightly out, shoulders back, core nice and tight, and we're going to come down, inhale, exhale on the up. You're going to inhale on the down, exhale on the up, and you're going to keep going with this. I'm going to go profile. Okay, you want to make sure that those knees are not tracking over the toes. If you're finding that is happening, just lessen your range of motion. Keep those squats going for those of you that want to use a chair. You can do it this way as well. Come up nice and tall. If you need a little more support, this is always an option. You're going to do about 12 to 15 squats. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do a little active recovery, take a break, 30 seconds to a minute rest. You're going to go into set number two. There you go. That is your basic squat. The next thing we're going to do are step side squats. We're going to add a front raise. So, don't need weight, you're going to bring the feet together. As you step out, you're going to inhale, exhale on the up, switch it over to the other side. Okay, again, knees should not be tracking over the toes. And you're going to do about 12 to 15 of these. You can do one set of each, or you can do two sets. Okay, again, play with that range of motion. You can do the same thing standing behind a chair. Really doing well, guys. Keep it going. And again, active recovery. Just shake it out. Heart rate's up, so you want to keep the body moving. Third exercise we're going to do is called a side leg raise. Option, put your hand on the chair, one hand on the hip, upper body nice and tall. You're going to inhale, bring that leg down. Inhale, and bring that leg down. So, flex the toe towards you. It will give you a little more balance. Core always engaged. Wonderful job, everyone. Keep it going, up and down. So, you're gonna do about 12 to 15 on that leg. Again, if you wanna work your balance, Take your hand off the chair. You can hover that foot or you can tap it down. It's really up to you. You're going to take a break. You're going to shake it out. Then you're going to switch sides. You're going to do the same set on the other side. So that is what we call abduction. That is working our IT band in our obliques. Third exercise we're going to layer onto this. We're going to stand nice and tall. Again, hand on the chair if you want. We're going to add a side leg raise but this time, a knee lift. So you're gonna inhale on the up, exhale on the down, inhale on the up, exhale on the down. Again, you can hover that foot or you can tap the toe down. Also, you wanna challenge your balance a bit more or hover that foot, you can do it this way as well. Again, you're going to do about 12 to 15 reps, so this would be one rep. This will be two. Now, keep in mind that that supporting leg is also working as well. So if you need a break any time during the exercises, take the break, shake it out, do the other side, and that is your lower body work. Thank you for inviting me into your home and have a great day.